The universe is made by extremely small part, um, uh, objects that physicists call particles. They are the fundamental building block of what we commonly call matter from the phone that you have in your pocket as to the galaxies. Physicists found out that along with particles, also their um, mirror version exists, and they call them antiparticles. When uh, a particle and an antiparticle meet, they destroy each other um, and uh, uh, release energy under the form of light. But now, if this, uh, we have in the universe the same amount of particles and antiparticles, there would be only light in the universe. So why we live in a matter-dominated universe? What happened? So indeed, it seems that in the early stages of the universe, there was the same amount of particles and antiparticles. But at a certain point, all of the sudden, the sudden, this equilibrium broke, and we ended up having more particles than antiparticles, causing what I would call a crack in the mirror. But how can we understand what happened in the early stages of the universe? Why the universe evolved in this way? One of the most fundamental building blocks of our universe that can shed light on this intriguing mystery is neutrino. There are three types of neutrinos in nature, and they can transform one into another uh, while they travel from one place to another. This phenomenon is uh, called by physicists neutrino oscillations. Uh, uh, like neutrinos, also the mirrored version, antineutrinos, can oscillate. And if the amount of time they oscillate is different, this asymmetry between the two can shed light on the matter-antimatter asymmetry in the universe. And we would have catched the crack in the mirror. One of the experiments that is, uh, um, that is uh, um, investigating this phenomenon is located in Japan and is called T, uh, T2K, which is the acronym of Tokai to Kamioka, the two cities in Japan where the experimental apparatus is located. And the neutrinos travel from the east coast of Japan for uh, about 300 uh, kilometers before being catched by the giant Super Kamiogande. Super Kamiogande is a tank filled with 50 kiloton of ultra pure water. Uh, equipped with 11,000 cameras that take pictures of these neutrinos. They are actually very big. They are 50 centimeters of diameters. And why it needs to be so big? Because neutrinos are very shy and hard to catch, and we need very large volume to, uh, uh, to, to take pictures, to maximize the probability to take pictures of that. T2K started operation in uh, uh, 2009, and after 11 years of activity, in 2020, myself and other 300 people that work on T2K published what it seems to be the very first indication of matter-antimatter asymmetry between neutrino oscillations. More investigation is needed to make sure that it's really there and that can shed light on the matter-antimatter asymmetry in the universe. So stay tuned uh, for about another 10 years for future <laughs> announcements. Thank you.